Hi Stampers, it's Sarah. Welcome back to another Friday video here at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. Today is the last day of my five days of Halloween, so I thought it would be great to end it with a video on how to make these little witches brooms um, that you can make out of suckers. I think that this is such a cute idea for like, um, um, a kid's Halloween school party or a Halloween theme party, a costume party. You can have little, you know, gift card or little cards right here to say to, from, or you could put a little message in there. And they're just so adorable. I just love them. So let's go ahead and get started making these today. First, what you're going to need is just a natural colored coffee filter and I just got this from my local grocery store and what we're going to do is we want to fold our coffee filter in half just like this. Once that's done we want to fold that in half again like that and then we want to fold it one more time like that. So it should look like that. So you should have eight layers right here at the bottom. Now I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to just start cutting up until, I don't know, right about a quarter of an inch from the top maybe. And I'm just going to cut a whole bunch of lines right here. And this is what's going to serve as our fluffy broom right here. Just like that. Put one more right there. Perfect. So then when you open it up, once you get all the little arms out of there, then it looks like this. How much fun is that? Cute. Alright, so now right here in the center we need to make room for our, our sucker and I'm just using a blow pop sucker. And before I use the sucker, I take it comes with like this stuff pushed up on the top more like this I just take that and fold it down so then it's flush with the sucker so you see more of the stick right there so I'm going to take this and I'm gonna fold it just in half one more time and I'm going to take my paper snips and make a very small snip right th I mean really tiny right there in the middle just enough for my popsicle stick, or my popsicle stick, <laughs> my sucker stick to fit in there. I don't even know if you can see that hole right there in the camera. It's super small. So now for, do I keep saying popsicle stick? I feel like I keep saying popsicle stick. <laughs> for our sucker stick right here, I'm just going to take a marker, and I just happened to grab a Copic marker right here real fast. It was just right on hand, and I'm just going to color my sucker stick right here. And you could use any marker, obviously a Sharpie, Stampin' Up, obviously a Copic. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to set that aside real fast to let it dry. So now let's go ahead and make our little greeting tag right here while our sucker stick is drying. I'm going to be using the Halloween Bash set today and I'm going to be using that image right there as well as that image with the bat right there. So I'm just going to grab a piece of Whisper White, just a scrap piece, and I'm going to grab my Tangerine Tango um, Classic Stamp Pad right here. And I'm going to grab my Wisteria Wonder stamp pad right here. And then my Stays On stamp pad. Just like that. So I want a little bit of a layered look. So I'm going to take my um, decorative label frame right here. And I'm going to stamp that with my Tangerine Tango. Put it right there on my Whisper White. Perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my bat image right here and I'm going to put it in my Wisteria Wonder. Put it right there on my Whisper White. And then I'm going to clean that stamp real fast on my scrub pad here. 
And then I'm going to ink it up with my Stazon ink right here. And then I'm going to stamp it with my Stazon ink. So I have three stamped images right there. And I just realized that I forgot to grab my punches. So hold on one second, bear with me. There we go, so sorry about that. All right, so now to punch out my punches, I'm going to use the decorative label punch. I'm gonna punch out my tangerine tangle right here. Perfect. Then I'm going to take my scallop oval punch and I'm gonna punch out my wisteria wonder oval right here. Then I'm going to take my large oval punch and I'm going to punch out the center of my oval right there. I'm trying to get it even. There we go. Perfect. And now I'm just going to layer. So I'm just going to use my snail for this layering piece right here. I'm going to put it right here in my Wisteria Wonder. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use some dimensionals. And I'm going to puff it up on my decorative label right there. Just like that. Cute. All right, so now for the base of our little gift tag right here, I'm just using a piece of wild wasabi, and this is cut at four by two and a quarter, and then it's scored right down the middle at two. And I'm just gonna fold it in half, just like this. So now I'm going to take my hole punch here, or you could use your paper piercing tool, whichever one you want. I'm just grabbing my hole punch, and I'm going to make three small holes right here in the center. Now I find that a larger hole punch makes too big of a hole so I just I don't know if you can see it there it kind of reminds me of like a Mickey Mouse head. <laughs> it's got like two holes right there and then one hole at the bottom. So that's what I find is easiest for me because the other hole punch seemed too big. Then I'm just going to take my um, black taffeta ribbon here and I'm just going to cut off a section no real measurement of length. This one's way too long, but I mean it's way more than 23 inches long. <laughs> but, oh well. Better to have too much than not enough, right? Then I'm just going to feed this into my little holes right there. Maybe. Maybe I didn't get the holes quite big enough. There we go. And then just feed that through there. There we go. All right. Longest part of the project right there. <laughs> All right. Then I'm just going to decide how long I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just tie it together. So I don't want mine super long. So I'm just going to tie a little knot in it right here at the top and then finish it off with a little bow. But I want to put that knot in it first because I want to make sure that it's good and secure. So just like that. Get this out of the way and then just tie my bow. Perfect. And then of course you can make your ears your tails, some people call them, as big or as long as you want them. And then just give it a nice little tug. And then just clip off the extra right there. Perfect. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take some more dimensionals and pop this up on my little card. Just like that. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. Okay, so now our 
um, sucker stick should be dry if I can find what I did with the sucker here we go so this is all dry now so what we're gonna do is we're just going to stick this into our coffee filter like this we're going to grab our whisper white baker's twine or whatever color you prefer then just unroll some here now we're gonna take this and at the bottom here we're just gonna bunch it up just like that then we're gonna go ahead and take our twine and then wrap this around and then go ahead and tie it in a knot and then pull it tight see and then there's our broom and then I'm gonna put another little knot in here just because I want to make sure that it's good and tight and then you just snip off the extra right here one right there and then one right there and then there you go there is your little witch's brew now sometimes I do find with the blow pops right here that you gotta kind of form them so that they'll stand up because you got this bulge right here from the sucker so you just gotta play with it a little bit and then it'll or sometimes I've even taken these and just kind of cut the bottom of the sucker right here so the bottom of the sucker kind of fans out with the bottom of the um, coffee filters and that seems to help too and then you just got to work with it it will stand up see there it goes and then you just put your little tag on it and then there is your little witch's broom guys how stinking adorable is that i hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial all until next time happy inking